current kill ratio in Ukraine is one Ukrainian to six Russians? Zelensky. Here's a summary of the article. Your profile can be used to present content that appears more relevant based on your possible interests, such as by adapting the order in which content is shown to you, so that it is even easier for you to find content that matches your interests. Content presented to you on this service can be based on your content personalization profiles, which can reflect your activity on this or other services, possible interests and personal aspects. Information regarding which content is presented to you and how you interact with it can be used to determine whether the content e.g. reached its intended audience and matched your interests. Reports can be generated based on the combination of data sets regarding your interactions and those of other users with advertising or content to identify common characteristics. Information about your activity on this service, such as your interaction with ads or content, can be very helpful to improve products and services and to build new products and services based on user interactions, the type of audience, etc. Content presented to you on this service can be based on limited data, such as the website or app you are using, your non-precise location, your device type, or which content you are interacting with. Certain information is used to ensure the technical compatibility of the content or advertising and to facilitate the transmission of the content or add to your device. This post received a score of 17,000, with an upvote ratio of 88%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. It's always hard to believe numbers that come directly from one side or the other here. They both have incentives to exaggerate the numbers for their own cause. All the popular YouTubers also obtain their reports from one side, until a truly independent source can give us the tally you'll just have to assume it's going very poorly for Russia as their three-day special operation has yet to conclude. Hard numbers apart, there are historical and present elements that do lend credibility to a high body count. Chechnya was a bloodbath for the Russian army. Putin kept sending them to pointless operations without a care for losses. And now Russian veterans are telling similar stories, like the Battle of Avdivka which one soldier described as a meat grinder? Severodonetsk, Bakhmut, the failed offensive at Kyiv, Kharkiv liberation, plus the meatwave troops changing now four to five times in a single conflict, DPR, LPR, then Wagner, Storm Z, then the Africa Corp, and soon joining then the North Korean troops. Frozen Potato Squad, assemble. Ready the shit filled hot air balloons. Main points from article. President Volodymyr Zelensky believes that the ratio of irreversible losses among Ukrainians and Russians on the battlefield is now 1 to 6. Source. Zelensky in an interview with the Philadelphia Inquirer, Trudy Rubin. Quote. Indeed, they, the Russians, ed, have a much larger population, and we take care about our soldiers more than they do. Indeed, we will not have a larger population than Russia. However, for every six Russians, one Ukrainian dies today, on the battlefield. Previously, we had figures approximately four times, one to four. E. Ukrainians are a bunch of campers. It's unfair they got to start on that side. Probably Russians. On a serious note, Russians are fighting for nothing while Ukrainians are fighting for everything. A soldier's mental state in battle can be the difference between winning and losing, dying or surviving. Greater than Russians are fighting for nothing. They're fighting for a deluded, wannabe emperor, that can't win a legitimate election or handle criticism within his own country. It will not end well for Putin. It never has for his kind. At the very least, I can imagine at the end of this there might exist a freer Russia than previously existed. Imagining a country the size of Russia finally being on the side of the rest of EU and the West would be quite a change globally. We can imagine it, but we also know that throughout its history, whenever Russia has had a chance to improve its situation and grow as a country, they have consistently made the wrong decision and made things worse. They managed to gain power for the people in 1917, and that lasted about a week before they replaced one despotic ruler for another. They had a chance to join the world in the 1990s, and for a while it looked like they might, but they just can't help themselves. If they kept their dumbass problems to themselves, no one would give a damn, but they always seem to want to spread their bullshit to the rest of the world. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech.
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.